Hey everyone, this is Rascal, and welcome to part 42 of the LP of Dragon Age Origins. In the last part, we defeated Erla, er, Ildred, and we rescued Irvin and some of the other mages. In this part, well, we're going a lot further and finally getting this done, and getting a few extra things done. Wow, this guy's a total dick, just... Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he just pretty much admitted that all mages are pretty much psychopaths. Yeah. I won't let this happen again. I am um, the commander here, not you. Yeah, woo, thank God, man, there's someone smart here. Anyways, well, what does the knight command? Uh, rebuild. The cycle yeah. will go on, and we will learn from this tragedy and be strengthened by it. We wow, that is pretty awesome. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But oh, thank God, there's no... Lying in wait. Enough. God damn it. Already made my decision. God Thank damn it, Cullen, you're a fucking you dumbass. yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. Woo! And what about the Dark Spawn? I require aid. You know. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. Yes, thank you, God. Oh. <laughs> the Templars guard and advise. But the first enchanter has the last word in what happens in the circle. Ah, you guys made it seem like you guys were always in command. That's why we kind of, you know, this rebellion kind of happened. I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, speak to Irvin. You know, there's supposed to be an auto cutscene kicking in. There we go. In disarray. The circle nearly annihilated. <laughs> yeah, not my problem. That was your, all of yours. You're lucky I just arrived in fucking time. <laughs> it's almost as though the maker himself sent you. Not really. The blight drove me here. Yeah. See, the maker didn't send me. I don't believe in the maker. I believe there's a higher power, but I don't believe him until I see him land right in my face. But you know. The dark spawn drove me here, not him. That we are not to be underestimated. The mages you see here will be a great help to you. Yeah, it will. As first enchanter, the circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Woo! Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow <laughs> the Grey Warden. Wait, what? We need you here. The circle needs you. I, I kind of agree with this, but... But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brilliant oh my God. and capable of great things. It so yeah, you have a second mage here, Win. You have the right to refuse her coming into the party. You can come with us if you really want to. You were never one to stay in the tower <laughs> when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. So yeah, Wynn's pretty much a little bit of a rebellious, a little rebellious heart. But you know, the the fact that you have two mages, the reason you do you do this, you have two of each character. You have two mages, uh, two rogues, but you have three warriors because we're getting a third warrior uh, character. But um, Sten is not required. That's the thing. Sten is not required for you to complete the game or anything. He's just a bonus character. You have you don't need to rescue him. You don't need to talk to the um to him as a for when you pass the um circle. Yeah. So we got a black grimoire you here back in the tower. So yeah, give this as a gift to Morgan, and this is what happens. Now I'm I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of things because I spend a lot of time just neandering about in the camp. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Sweet. Oh, okay. And uh, what? Don't even get a kiss? I suppose. Deserved for all your efforts, is it not? So yeah, um. As I told you guys earlier, I did manage to get Morgan to. Uh, get the be I got the bed, Morgan. Uh, you don't see it because uh, that's what. To this to wow. Wished me to know. 
This should be interesting. So yeah, you gave her her gr uh, Flemish grimoire to Morgan. Um, woo, level up, nice. Uh, magic, all of it. Fuck it. <laughs> Herbalism and ooh, the last transformation. Master shapeshifter. Woo. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good spell to have for her, anyways. Whoa. Yeah, so. A generous. Uh. Thank you ever so much. Uh, fuck it. That's wine. Most yeah, so. Um, I don't know if you can actually have a romantic engagement with Win. Mm -hmm. If anyone knows, please, you know, tell me. Because I have no idea. Uh, uh, what am I doing here? Why, oh yeah. So much. Oh. Why? Thank you so much. Yeah, you don't like the shit. Uh, fuck it. Oh wow, only plus two for White Master Runestone. Ah, screw it. I'm not gonna continue giving them gifts. I gotta really. Unexpected. Wow. Thank you. You have my. Yeah, I kind of. I kind of need Stan to be in a little more into the, you know, loving area, considering you know how I fucked up with him. So yeah, <clears throat> remember we got star metal. I'd like to remind you guys that. So we're gonna yes. get a yes. little party here. Um. Indeed. There we go. And we're going to go back to Soldier's Peak in order to get uh, the Star Medal. The specialized sword for it. So what you get when you forge Star Medal... Oh, Alistair leveled up. What the... Not win. What the... Back. Come on. There we go, Alistair. So yeah, you actually get a you get two possible forges. You get a long sword or a battle axe. A two-handed battle axe, I believe. Uh, whatever. Warden. Uh I found this metal in a crater. This is star metal. Yeah, they call it star metal, but we know it's metal from a meteorite. Uh, a star metal long sword sounds perfect. Nothing. My a two-handed long sword. A uh, two-handed sword or so a star be. metal sword, which is what I will forge. Because of an because of your mage being an arcane warrior, you have the ability to wield this sword, and it is a very lo cool is looking done. sword too. I call this blade Starfang. May it serve you well. Yeah, we got this I pretty fast, but real forging church. would take like a month or two. Warden. So yeah, he uh, he gets exhausted and you... Fuck's sakes. So yeah, I've got to show it off right now. Come on. Starfang. Uh, this thing does 11.90 damage. Critical chance of 3.40. Armor penetration 4.20. Strength modifier 1. 3 dexterity, 3 damage, and 2.5 armor penetration. This thing is a fucking beast. And if you have... Since it requires 31 magic, I am using my magic skill to physically hit. It could do a lot of damage. This thing is very, very powerful. If you are going down the path of a warrior or a rogue that's using um, two-handed, give it to one of these characters. It requires a strength of 31 which a lot of your characters by now should have. Um, I will equip, give it to Alistair. And I will put away most of the shit I already have here. So I'll see you guys, I believe, back at camp. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. There we go. You wish to hear what I have found? Uh, I'm going to guess it's very bad news. Not what I expected. I had hoped no kidding. a collection of her spells. A map of the power that she commands. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, you look disturbed. disturbed. 
Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing <laughs> in particular within her writings. Okay. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains Ooh. the means by which she has survived for centuries. Wait, what? A spell of immortality? Uh, oh, what? if only it were so. Flemeth has <laughs> raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen yet. a one. And always wondered why not. Oh. No, no. Oh. Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter. And when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Ah. Uh, that sounds morally wrong and I do not know. somewhat creepy. Perhaps tis as she said. The Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. Uh, to a little from column A, a little from column B, that's what I'm guessing. Because you have to realize that Flemeth here, like pretty much what Morgan said, Flemeth is scared of the Darkspawn. If she's trying to do her ritual while the Darkspawn are on the wilds, if they interrupt the ritual, she will die, Morgan will die, and it will be all for nothing. Or perhaps um be gone from the Kokari wilds. So yeah. Prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. Yeah, so woohoo. Are you certain about this? Wow. There is only So what do you want to do about it? Response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not see wow. like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must <laughs> be slain, and I need your help to do it. So yeah, um, this is actually part of the main story. It may seem so. If you think yeah. of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did okay, so yeah, that's a bit disturbing. Yeah, I kind of see where Morgan is coming from. Me. And I, have, I will admit I that 99% of my gameplays... Um, I have killed Flemeth. It's not easy. She transforms into a fucking dragon. Because if she is slain, it is not <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously, I cannot be the one to do it. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, f uh, God damn it. Very well, I'll help you if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. <laughs> yeah, so I doubt she will truly this is a pretty hard fight. I do suggest that you don't do this right away. If you go to the Mage's Tower first and get all this, um, do not fight Flemeth right away afterwards. Yes, the enemies level up pretty much with you, but it is not an easy fight. You require a lot of HP, a lot of potions, a lot of mana potions if you bring your mages. Win, especially. Uh, I'll see what I can do. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, we're out yes. to go. I neandered about again, and we're about to go kill Flemeth. Why the hell not? I believe we have to. We're out to kill Flemeth first. Yes, Flemeth's hut. Now again, the reason I keep these in. Is because I believe we have a battle here. I was actually going like, yay, we're going so far. Oh, god damn it. We practically made it so far. Whoa. What the hell? Oh. Uh. Altered creatures through magic. Oh, you are attacking something. Okay. Oh well, whatever. Very well. Yeah. So these are corrupted rules and all that. So there's nothing much to say about these things. We've seen them with the elf character, and I was like, "What the hell is am I attacking?" Oh, a Drake. Yes. Blocked. 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 
So yeah, for some reason we're attacking through the tree rather than, you know, through the right way of doing this. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I should have killed. Oh, wow. My character just fucking died. Then again, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about facing a drake anymore. If this was a dragon, yeah, I'd be a little more worried. No, that's major injury kits. Oh, there's a lesser injury kit. Elf root. And uh, it's pretty much it. Yeah, this is a huge random battle. This is a rare one. And it always frightens me when I see a drake because it's like, huh, although I know I can kill these things, there's still something telling me that, you know... Yeah, you can only activate one sustained spell at a time. That sucks because... Oops. It's, it would be a lot easier to, to just be, have the ability to activate them all in one shot. And Death Siphon. Yeah, as you can see, my mana is being drained by Death Siphon alone. But that is actually a good spell to have. As you guys know, it actually drains the mana. It recovers your mana from dead fallen foes. So, woo. So, yeah, Flemeth. I said 99% of them I kill. Yeah, so the other percent. Return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her too. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. We know your little secret, Flemeth. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What oh, Morgan crap, that doesn't you? sound good. What little plan has she hatched this time? Uh... She knows how to send your natural life plan. The question is, do you? Well, I kind of do because, you know, it sounds wrong. This means you have to give birth to a girl constantly. What if you give birth to a man? So, let me get this straight. Do you use magic to alter the fact that your egg will only give... The man's sperm will only give you a woman? What happens if you get a male? You know, this will not sound right, but do you... And if you get a male, what? Do you give it out to someone? Do you kill it? Do you, you know, ancient Bible style of sending it on, on the river in a basket? What? Tell her I am slain. Uh, and what do you, what, what, what? And what do you get? At? What, do you think she'll believe it? It's all we ever do. She's got a point. And what do I get out of it? For a time. Well, I don't mind that idea. This way, don't you think? The lies are always more fun. <laughs> yes. Fun. Yeah. Tricking Morgan. Oh, who am I kidding? That does sound fun. <laughs> I'm a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I love Elsa for that. The more noble choice, right? Right? Yeah, she's like. With notes and spells enough to make um, more whatever character you have there, I don't even know if uh, Sten says something about that. That I guarantee. Um, it's always they're like, hmm, you know, th is this the right thing you to do? Because it sounds like the wrong thing to do. So yeah, this is uh, Rose of Possession and Grimmar's re uh, Flemish real me memoir. So yeah, the Archdemon. Once you get this cutscene, it's pretty much uh, telling you, okay, get your ass in fucking gear and uh, finish recruiting everything. You're awake. Did you? Did you feel it too? Did yeah, I felt that. Demon saw us. Saw us. What does that mean? I think. Uh, I don't know. Did you hear that? What the hell is that? So yeah, we have an instant battle here at the camp. This is the second. Depending on what character you choose to play as, this could be your second battle at a camp. Because if you remember the uh, the Elven Warrior, the Elven Rogue, I should say, um, uh, friend that gets into the realm of the shadows, I'm gonna call it that, who becomes a uh, dark, darken. If you f if you go down that path, you'll find a. You'll come randomly into your, into your camp like, like that. Duncan once said, we can sense them, and they can sense us. We ah, good. Careful from now on. 
This I love this life, and it was hilarious that just there's like, doom, doom. Wow. <laughs> I love these guys. It's like, yeah, they always comment on these things. I love them. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's head back. So we're gonna go to Denerim. Oh, what the fuck? Or oh no, that's right. I gotta change Morgan's clothing. Rose of possession. Only Morgan can wear them. Plus one to plus five to magic. Plus. You know, it makes her look like her other clothing, her original armor, but it's a lot more powerful. That's all it is. Oh, wrong idea. Wrong button. Ring of faith. Woo. Plus two willpower and. Yeah. Woo. There you go. So, yeah, Flemish Grimoire. That's why. I Mother's real Grimoire, is it? Yep. I'm glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks. For so yeah. I shall begin. Uh, whether you kill Flemeth or not, this will always happen. Morgan will Morgan will gain a a plot skill. When you have these plot skills, what they do is it grants them extra power to whatever is their greatest attribute. Morgan win is magic. I believe Lydiana is dexterity or cunning. Yes. Uh, mostly yes. cunning. As um, Zenervan is uh, Zev. I'm gonna call him Zev too. So we're back in Denerim to. You if you guys remember this. Of course. He's back. He's back. Have you reconsidered? I can make such fine armor with your scales. Okay, I'll pay ten extra sovereign. And kick. You won't regret it. I'm trying. Yeah. So this is the um. Our, this is the Drake Scale Armor side quest. You're this is actually. I barely... Go get back yeah. To work. I was hoping that it would be done. Farewell. So, an easy way to do this is actually to. The second you get the quest to Drake Mail. To, to get the Drake Mail Armor. Um, just go do a little side quest. You know, um, in this case, what we're going to do is actually. God damn it, not another battle. Uh, what we're going to do is actually get the golem. I'm not going to use a golem, uh, shale, the go shale, the golem, but I am going to show off how to get it. It's pretty easy. So yeah, um, this is proof that you have allegiances. Um, the reason is that, as you guys can see, they, you have a bunch of knights from Redcliffe here. Uh, yes. fighting off Darkspawn and the faster you can get you know your assistance to them the less die you know there's if you can have the less die the better obviously you know so yeah this is actually a interesting little thing that can happen in the wild um, okay Woo. Yeah, this is actually quite dangerous because of, just because of that ogre because it's considered a more powerful enemy now. It's considered a mini boss enemy. Wow, the knights died. Really? The knights of Redcliffe just died. Ugh. Ooh, elf roots. Sweet. Uh, knights of Redcliffe, just regular knights. A lot of money. Hmm. All right. Hi, Knights of Redcliffe. How are you? Good. I hope all of you are okay. Head back to Redcliffe now. We kind of need all you guys alive in order to fight the real end of the Darkspawn threat. Oh, hello. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Yeah, considering you know the dark spawn are out there. I don't blame you, buddy. Ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Oh, God damn it. Uh, just what are you doing? Help her to find the damn mule, of course. Freezing. Oh, 
<laughs> uh, dumbass. What I mean when you're doing this part of the country. Okay, that's actually a French name. Um, Felix de Grosbois. Um, literally translated means Felix of Big Wood. Make, go ahead and make all the sexual and yendo jokes you guys want in the comments. Just saying that out loud, just, you know, it's wrong, I know. This trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose. Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst yeah. is this artifact I brought. It's a control rod, I'm told. For a uh, problem. what? No point in me. Ooh. Yeah, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you... The catch. What's the catch? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be well, down in the village down south, waiting to be act... Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun. That's not such an issue. For uh, yeah, woo. So no, we're well, Grey Warden, so we'll be fine. Just as well. Yeah, I'm just kind of like skipping his dialogue because it's like. In a, just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up. Yeah, that's uh, actually not right, but whatever. Uh, personal golem. Sounds that's good. Anyways, this part's gonna end, so join me next time as we head to this town and hopefully get ourselves a golem. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night. Oh, golem, that would be so fun. Giant walking tank of rocks.